the so the the theme for the day was machinery bill rights in the news industry opportunities ch standards and challenges so I, i'll take that backwards and just you know g give you a quick notes of you know <coughs> what struck me so in, in terms of challenges expressing rights is easy but it doesn't lead, lead you anywhere unless the person at the other end is not receptive and doesn't want to listen Another challenge, the big players, the Twitters, the Facebooks, the Googles are not here. So, and we really need them to engage in this conversation. Uh, something that was mentioned also, it's, there's a difference between machine readable rights and machine actionable. If you want it to be machine, machine actionable, you need a very high degree of semantic precision. The international environment, the fact that we, if we have registries, they need to be connected to each other. We live in a, in a global economy. The fact that the supply chain begins even before the creator, with the organizer of, of the event, some sometimes you know setting their own conditions. In terms of standards, we've heard some pretty harsh words about uh, standards. Uh, someone said, "quote unquote," standards by themselves won't achieve anything. Uh, but we, we heard some success stories, though uh, Onyx, which seems to be a success story in its own in industry with very large buy-in from the, the, the entire chain of players in the book industry, plus as well, which uh, you know, gave, us a, gave us a good story about starting incrementally and then building up on, on that. Uh, we also heard that standards and automate, automation of uh, rights expression should not replace human judgment and interpretation. And on the opportunities, uh, I think what came out strongly, well, first of all, the value of such a day where we share knowledge and meet you know, new people, get, you know, get new insights about parts of the industry we are not familiar with, uh, the, the chatter, at the coffee breaks and, and lunch was very positive uh, from what, what I heard. Uh, the fact, you know, what, which is an opportunity that it's better to have 80% than 100%, you know, start slowly and, and, and build up. Uh, that there are many ways to skin a cat, that you know, there's, a, there's an interplay between registries and rice expressions and the, the two are complementary. I think it's Jonas who, who said we should we should work together as organisations because it's you know it's not enough just for Creative Commons to talk with some of these bigger players, you know we, we should we should all do it together. I think that's one opportunity we should pursue. Uh, the final one, which was the most unexpected for for me and was quite consistent, is the value of education and educating the end user unless the end user is educated about the value of the creative content and the value of the journalism, etc. You know, this initiative is, is never going to, to, to go very far. So I, I thought that was very interesting because many speakers uh, alluded to that. Yeah, I think um, a few of the things that I took away, uh, I have to say, are the, the gamut that this whole topic spans from individual photographers, uh, small agencies uh, that sell pictures of flowers to large agencies of, you know, global size. Um, the other thing that I also picked up on was, you know, just the general interest whenever there were lawyers available to answer questions. So uh, I think if we should ever uh, repeat a day like this, we should make sure that uh, we have a half a day of just grilling the lawyers uh, <laughs> for anything. Um, I think that would be very uh, exciting. Maybe not for the lawyers, but uh, for all of for everyone else. Um, I think one of the, the things is many of the standards and solutions or potential solutions that we all talked about here um, rely on a lot of infrastructure and a lot of back end and uh, f the communication between systems and looking up things in registries and all of that. Um, if I just want, can advocate for individuals or very small organizations for a moment, I think the support of all kinds of software vendors for anything that is implementable on a small scale, uh, be it something that the individual photographer can embed in a file or um, potentially the ability to hook uh, existing organizational software, you know, small 
dams uh, up to any kinds of registries and hubs is very important because not all photographers uh, have all of their material represented through large agencies and uh, not all of them can and want to. And uh, ultimately, it, it all for me points back to um, a lot of things that, that John has done and shown us with Markster, this, this really rudimentary, simplistic uh, solution, which the very first version one was. It really allowed you to just plaster your name on top of an image and, uh, yes, thereby embed a watermark into it and then share it out. And yet it solved a problem uh, in a very, very simple, sometimes uh, maybe not very beautiful way, but uh, yeah. Um, it solved the problem and then it developed. Um, so just getting started and getting our hands dirty and, and just beginning to approach the problem while continuing to talk and uh, to ideally not reinvent the wheel. That's, that's what I'm taking away from this. So as I was walking up here, somebody um, muttered to me, Stuart, keep it brief. So <laughs> um, uh, I guess uh, two things I'd like to say. One is that um, I think that the, uh, the topic of uh, machine readable um, rights for the publishing industry might not seem to have been that fascinating. And yet, we've gotten a, um, a really great set of people here and um, lots of uh, great participation and um, really um, a fair amount of passion uh, expressed here about the, on the topic. So um, I guess the thing I'd like to ask everybody here is um, it's clear that for digital rights, it's not a problem that can be solved by any one individual or any one organization. It is something that we do, um, we absolutely have to work together on. So I'd like to um, ask people to uh, maintain that passion and to translate it into working together um, um, in order to be able to try and solve the problem. Three facets I'm taking with me from that is uh, particularly for my uh, presentation section is uh, first it's really challenging the diversity uh, that means the diversity in standards diversity in business cases the diversity in uh, in rights and so it, I think even uh, for a very sober and technical person it will be an overwhelming uh, difference in, which should be brought into one pot and I think this is a real challenge which is objectively not really easy uh, to tackle and uh, secondly what I got aware with what I did not uh, envision so far so clearly is that also there is a workflow in the progress of rights so that means uh, there are negotiations which should be reflected by uh, terms of rights expressions uh, and so we not only have one piece of rights uh, picked uh, sticking to one piece of content but we can have a progress of rights expressions over the time uh, sticking to one piece of content so I think this is something we should uh, take with us uh, the, the third uh, facet is I've been already at uh, some some other events about uh, rights and rights management and uh, not overly self-proud, I can say, and never learned so much within eight hours as today. Thank you. <laughs>